Hey guys, what's up? Will here and just a really quick video. I just uploaded a video about the uh, Magdalenian constellations and I cannot stand this. I removed this crap from my channel, but I'm going to let you see it. Okay. These are the kind of people that are not worth our time. Look, so I post this Magdalenian constellation and it's obviously from the National Geographic channel and it's obviously not ancient aliens but the first thing this guy says and he comes in with the name War Wager right he comes in and he says did you take a clip from ancient aliens and I said I'm sure you've read National Geographic I suppose this means that you had nothing to add to the conversation and no way to dispute it rather than an ad hominem attack you know and he's Asking a source is not an ad hominem attack. Oh, no, it actually is. If you're coming in saying, is this ancient aliens crap, then you're basically saying, where'd you get this from, ancient aliens? Because all ancient aliens is crap. That's just saying because you don't agree with the ancient aliens theories, so you're trying to make my stuff into ancient aliens so it's easier for you to attack. Yeah, that's a, such a skeezy tactic. That's like uh, when I put out my scientific theories and people try to make it into a religious theory because it's easier for them to debate religion rather than debate exactly what this says. So here, listen to what this guy does. He says, and ask again, did you use a clip from the ancient aliens? Dude, he knows it's not. It's National Geographic, right? As for disputing it, history of star charts do show constellations have changed over time as noted by Edmund Haley. Oh, does it really? So here is this uh, is talking about this is Edmund Haley, right? And he was questioned: Are constellations permanent? He's very clear in his response. He says, "Ancient astronomers often spoke of the fixed stars." which maintain permanent positions in the sky. And indeed, the stars do seem almost fixed in place. The patterns they look from much the same today as they did when the constellations were first named 3,000 years ago. But the stars are all moving relative to the sun, most with speeds of many kilometers per second. Because the motions of the stars within it, for example, the handles of the Big Dipper will in 50,000 years appeal significantly more bent than in today. We will no doubt keep the same names, even if the stars change, even if the stars change position. Constellations are, after all, products of human imagination. He just said right there, the stars have not changed position. They might sometime in 50,000 years. And guess what? Saying that they move relative to the sun's a bunch of BS. You're going to tell me that every single star that we see is moving in the same exact direction of the sun? It's the same distance? It's the same angle? No! Bunch of crap. But that's what he will say that they've proven it, that it's proven, that he showed it. Just read what he says. It's absolutely not. So, you know, this is this is the type of junk I don't deal with. With someone coming in, wanting to be the war wager, spreading these lies and deceit, you know, having no respect for anybody. And that's the tactics of the side of deceit. All you have to do is read Haley's papers himself. And they say it hasn't moved. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night. Keep these fools out of your life.